So aside from sharks, bats, night owls, and insomniacs, there's very few living creatures that don't enjoy a good night's sleep. For years, national statistics say humans don't get enough of those. Not that this comes as much of a surprise to anyone, especially parents of newborns and those of us who may work in TV news and have early shifts. Uh, but what if you're getting a little too much sleep? And how much is too much? According to the CDC, seven to nine hours is the norm. But some sleep experts say too much snooze and you could lose years off of your life. One such expert is Dr. Matthew Edland. He is the author of the book, The Power of Rest, and he joins us now to talk about this. Doctor, it's good to have you with me. The story is the uh, other side of the national extreme, many would say. Uh, most say we're sleep deprived. Now we have this issue of too much sleep. So doesn't one feed off the other, though? Yep, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. Uh, when we talk about, for argument's sake, let's say that you're a person who isn't getting enough sleep uh, and you're getting maybe two or three, four hours a night, you decide, okay, I'm going to catch up this weekend, take 12 hours. Uh, are you actually doing more damage by crashing for those longer periods of time? Not if you do it temporarily. The whole question is, how much rest does somebody need? Rest is regeneration. And when people are sleeping too long, the real question is, are they sleeping that way because they're underlyingly sick? Mm -hmm. Is there something else that's causing them to have trouble? Uh, do they have underlying heart disease? Do they have underlying uh, problems with their blood vessels? And much of the time, the answer is yes. Uh, so it's not so much. Yeah. No, I just want to say the, 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 I guess the repercussions of all of this, what kind of trouble though uh, can there be activated, I guess, after someone gets too much sleep or has, uh, I guess, uh, gets, develops those patterns of getting too much sleep? Because as we said in the intro here, that they can shorten your lifespan. It can in this sense that the people who sleep longer tend to have more heart disease, tend to have more mm -hmm. diabetes, tend to have an earlier death. But is that because there's something underlying there? You know, it's the old question, 85% uh, of Americans die in bed. Does that mean that beds kill people? Or does that mean that people are in bed because they're underlyingly sick? And in many cases, it just seems to be really that what's happening is that the long sleepers, the people who have to sleep 9, 10 hours, are people who just have problems problems that cause them to sleep that long. Rest is regeneration and you need more rest when you're sick. Uh, for years we've heard eight is enough, eight hours a night. The American Cancer Society, they did a comprehensive sleep study uh, back in uh, 2002 right. and they polled 1.1 million Americans aged 30 and older over a six year period and they discovered that 12% who slept eight hours uh, a night were more likely to die during this study than those who only slept up to five to seven. Uh, so when we break this down, right. what is uh, the mandate, so to speak, on what is the proper amount of sleep that each one of us should get each night? Everybody has their own sleep need. There are some people who go fine on three hours. There are some people who need nine. Most of the population needs seven to eight. And when people start getting more than eight hours, especially when they start getting eight and a half, nine, nine and a half hours, usually there's an underlying problem. There may be atherosclerosis. There mm -hmm. may be diabetes. There may be an underlying sleep disorder. And that's why they're sleeping long. So a lot of people will sleep long on the weekends and they're saying, oh my gosh, if I have to sleep more than eight hours, is that bad for me? No, that's recovery sleep. Sleep. This is only for people who really sleep long a large part of their lives. Your book is called The Power of Rest, Dr. Matthew Edlin. Thank you, doctor, for coming on. We appreciate it. I hope everyone rests well today. Me too. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. So what every 